Good morning, I'm Mr. J, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at an LED torch project. So the first thing we're going to need to do is look at the schematic, which I'll cut to the computer screen so that we can understand how the schematic works now. The next thing that we need to do is we need to assemble all of our components together. So what I'm going to do is get all my components together and ensure that my soldering station is ready to go. So here, as we can see, we've got our soldering station, we've got our soldering iron. Uh, please remember, safety first, if the soldering iron is not in your hand, it's in the stand, okay? Keep it safe. Here I've got my soldering board, I've got a bit of blue tack to hold my board that I'm going to solder. Down here I've got the, the components all assembled, I'll give you a close-in shot of that in a minute. So the, the snips and uh, this device for sucking up any solder should we make any mistakes. Okay, so here we have all our components assembled. We have the blue tack, and we're gonna use the blue tack to hold the board in place while we're soldering it like that. Then we have our switch over here, and then we have our three millimeter LED. We have our three volt coin cell, which is gonna provide the power to our torch. We've got a positive and negative lead. These are about 15 centimeters, 150 millimeters long. And then we've got a resistor here, tiny little resistor, and I'm going to refer you to the chart to identify the resistor, okay? So here we can see, um, I'm gonna have to put a picture on because it's too tiny to see, but this resistor's color code is brown, black, and brown, followed by gold. So we can see on the chart here, that brown is one, black is zero, and then brown is another zero. So this is a 100 ohm resistor. And because it's a gold band, the gold band means it is has a tolerance of 10%. Okay, so uh, please refer to another video on how to identify resistors using the band system. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to solder in the LED. Now remember that the LED has a long leg and a short leg. The long leg is the positive or the anode and the short leg is the negative or the cathode. And remember that LED's orientation or polarity is very important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the LED with the long leg on the positive rail, okay? So that was this one over here. I'm just gonna pop it in like that. And then I'm gonna bend it over so it sticks up proud like that. Fantastic. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop in my switch. Okay, the switch you can see goes immediately directly into the board like this. And the pins protrude through the back. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my resistor and it's gonna go into the R1 slot there. Now remember, it doesn't matter about the polarity of the resistor, so I'm just gonna bend the legs over to make it easy for me to thread them through the holes. I'm just gonna pop the two through the holes and push them all the way through. Quick tip for you is if you bend the legs a little bit, this will stop the resistor or any components from falling out when it's upside down. Now that I've got all my components in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the whole thing upside down and push it into the blue tack, which will hold it securely. Now I'm gonna start soldering in all the components. Okay, so the trick to soldering is you wanna ensure that your soldering nib is clean. So uh, clean it with the sponge, uh, on the wet sponge, and then once you've done that, you wanna dab a bit of solder on top. So I'm gonna do that now by dipping it in the uh, sponge and putting just a tidge of solder on there and dipping it in again. So now a clean soldering iron means the solder will run on very easily. The trick to it is to heat up the pad and the pin and then apply a bit of solder. So I'm gonna do that now. Heating up the pad and the pin, applying a bit of solder, and lift both of them off. Now it's a good soldering joint if the solder has gone onto the pad as well as the pin, and it's a bad soldering joint if you just get a bubble of solder. That means you haven't heated it up enough. So I'm gonna go again. Next thing we need to do is just take off the insulation. 
both ends of the wire. Now the wire goes onto the board, obviously black goes into the negative and I find if you twist the ends it's going to go through much easier. Black goes through the negative, the red goes through the positive and now I can go ahead and solder those two into place. Okay, so the final step is to snip off, off the ends of the back of the board. So I'm just going to use my side snips to do that. And the final step is to test to see if we've been successful. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, if you have a look at the battery, there's a plus side and a negative side. We're going to put red to positive and black to negative. I'm going to go ahead and press the switch to see if it works. And indeed, now the circuit board for our LED torch is working. And now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to design a case which is going to enclose this LED torch.